We yeah. talked about beauty tips. Beauty we tips. did education. Education. We did high school. Well, we explained life. We're done. Yeah, we're done. Oh, let's do death. Let's do death. Yeah. Death. Death. <laughs> we don't. Like we're just like this. Let's do death. That's great. Yeah. Death. Okay. I love death. <laughs> I do, I love death and dying. It's like my favorite topic. My grandmother just died. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Hi, I'm the woman named Tammy who collects green glass bottles. Trixie Mattel. <laughs> and I go door to door selling tube socks filled with lunch meat. Katya. <laughs> hey, welcome to uh, the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. <laughs> and pose, and pose, and pose. <laughs> Today, the final frontier. Hey, you know, no one lives forever. No. As far as we know. <laughs> Do you believe in life after this outfit? <laughs> no, there's not life after life. No, just death. Listen, there, I'm fascinated with, okay, obviously we all die. That yeah. we can agree on. We're very averted to the thought of dying, but we're very fixated on what happens afterward. I just like love the process of dying. Like I dying love fabrics? No. <laughs> yeah, I love. <laughs> Filling my bathtub hot water and then a couple boxes of Rit. Oh my God. Oh my God. So basically what your life process ends. You go from living to not living. What do you think happens afterward? I think that the only thing that really matters that happens when you die is that your body decomposes and turns into a maggoty festering casserole of <gasps> Yeah. You know what I think about? In Native American culture, we believe in something called the Great Spirit, which is when you die, you go back into the earth, sure. which is also scientifically, metaphysically true. Yeah, I love that. It's part of what makes it, I think, coping with the death of a loved one possible is they're, they're truly not gone gone. It oh. also makes being a gay man dying terrifying because I think part of what makes you comforted to die is that you have family leaving a legacy, children, etc. If you're a gay man, you have no children and you just die. You're like, I was a waste of life. Oh, I don't think so. I you think don't? No, I just feel like there's no baggage. Oh, honey, just, oh, honey, <laughs> shoulder pads, honey, and just this, honey, <laughs> honey. That's what you just did. What about dying? Oh, I don't, I don't, no. I just, oh, honey, oh, no, dying, no, dying, 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 honey, no, no, dying, honey, honey, dying, honey. Honey, when I want to die something, honey, I put my white wig in the wash machine with a red shirt, honey. <laughs> well, I love, um, I love, I love um, movies that talk about the, that I love, <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> Nothing, I just like you. No. <laughs> Funny. It's true. <laughs> that is funny. No, I, I'm obsessed with movies that explore the bureaucracy of the afterlife, like Beetlejuice and um, the one yeah. with Albert Brooks. Yeah, I just if love. If I would have known then, what, what I, I knew now, now I, I wouldn't have had, had my little life. accident. Yeah. <laughs> uh, creationism. Yeah. People imagine that when you die, you come back as something else. That's factual. No, no, no. If you're that's, buried, no, that's reincarnation. What are you talking about? Creationism. That's what I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Uh, reincarnation. You come back as something. Yeah. That's factual. You absolutely go, turn back into worm food, grass, dirt, everything. If re reincarnation is real, mm -hmm. I don't need to come back as a person again. Does anybody here need to be a person again? No. I don't. A house cat lives 12 years. If you can't accomplish everything you want in life in 12 years, you weren't trying. Like if a building's burning down, you couldn't find the exit, honey, you didn't want to live anyway. Okay? <laughs> and that's some true tea. <laughs> that's, that's some true tea, I didn't think so. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, it is. No. I want to come back as something. I don't want to be a dung beetle. I don't want to be a person. Person is the highest. Dung beetle's like the lowest, right? You're a terrible person. I need to end up somewhere in the middle, common house cat. Okay. I mean, I think I need to like not be too good, not too bad. I need to like rob a convenience store. But if I'm on a way out, I turn on my heels and leave a mint on a pillow and go, meow. Just to make sure when I come back, I'm wearing, I'm a cat. You're a cat. I'm in a fur cat. coat, which by the way, cats are the only animals that get to wear fur coats without persecution. I want to be, you know what, what I want to be? What would you want to come back as? Two choices. choices. Number one, a jaguar in the Amazon that that uh, that hunts and kills crocodiles. Or um, one of thousands and thousands of cockroaches on the floor of a cave in Indonesia that survives completely off of batch. <laughs> In one option, you're eliminating a, my natural predator, which is crocodiles. Yeah. On the other <laughs> hand, you're eliminating my natural prey. Batch. Batch. <laughs> <laughs> Eating cockroaches. Yeah. Guano. Guano. Yeah. It's not just for kids. <laughs> I think by the time I die, let's say I'm old, 
the last thing I need is for me to be like, I'm laying down for my eternal sleep. And some angel two minutes later goes, wake up, we're at grandma's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty hard. I don't need that. Yeah, that's pretty Let me fine. die. Let me, let, let, me, let me rest. You know, my family, my immediate family and I have this like sort of jokey understanding that, you know, when our minds go, just push us off a cliff. Just take us out to lunch and push us right off the cliff. Do you guys want to sit inside or outside? Outside, cliff side. <laughs> yeah. cliff, cliff side. side. Cliff side. Cliff side. Ah! I'm going to lunch in Malibu and. Who? Are you afraid to die? Are you afraid of dying? At this juncture, yes. What are you afraid of the most? Uh, what scares you the most about dying? Is it the pain or is it the nothingness? Is it the not knowing? I am comforted by nothingness because mm -hmm. you're not there to experience. Discomfort. Yeah. On the other hand, I uh, fear it. I just fear pain. I'm not. I'm not scared at all of being like re-enveloped into the. But what you are know, the, the what atmosphere. are the odds that you will die? At a, who who really dies in a painful fashion? You are, because I'm gonna. Oh, if that's that phone alert. rings again. I'm gonna. It's an Amber you. Alert. Didn't happen on Please, my phone. Please don't move the stage. Amber, Amber Alert. alert. What is that? Is somebody dying? No, it's a missing kid. He's probably dead. Again, if you can't find your kid, you didn't want to find him. I was talking to Lady Bunny, and this she's a very funny lady, but she said, at my age, I come into town and call up some of my regular trade, and they've died. And she's not kidding. <laughs> she's not joking. That can happen. She's not joking, I One know. of these days, I'm going to come in here to film, and yeah. they're going to be like, as we expected, Yeah. she was raptured up. Yeah. Yeah. I it's just going to be me, which is my plan. I hope that when I'm raptured, I wear like a really cool starchy outfit that maintains its shape while my body leaves. Do you know what I mean? So I just look like I'm on a park bench like doing that. And it's, it's good, I mean, it's just gone. But it's like somebody, my friends keeps talking oh my to God. me for this like is, 15 this is, minutes. This is what I want. Yeah. This is what I want. When I die, prop my body up on Hollywood Boulevard painted as a statue and yeah. put a bucket out. And people will think I am like the ultimate statue person. Or I want to be that guy, take my dead body, with a briefcase and the tie going up in the air that yes. looks like he's running. And be like, those maggots are so realistic. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and like four weeks later, when one of my arms fall off, he'll be like, oh, <laughs> Madame Tussauds is going for realism, honey. <laughs> or let me be an extra on The Walking Dead. Yeah. Use my body for science or The Walking Dead. Oh, do you know that I am an organ donor and I'm going to donate my body to science because I want a couple, I want a bunch of med students to like carve up my grizzled corpse. Don't even get me started. I mean, I hate to tell people how to live. Bitch, you do not need your organs. Let your death mean something, Linda. Cut my, carve my body up in medical school. Just get on with it. Light a candle, have a party. Yeah. They're gonna cut you open and they're in the cadaver, they're gonna be like, these are the innards of an old, weathered, smoking cross-dresser who had a brisk with tanning. You know what I wish would happen though? I wish this would happen so bad. I wish that I would be laid on the slab for third year medical students and then they would make a long incision on my torso and then a smaller version of an adult me would just get out of the body and walk away. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> It would be great, and maybe throw a hat like Mary, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh my god, yeah. it would freeze. It yeah, would oh freeze. honey. <laughs> you look like Jan Crouch. Oh. Jan Crouch. Honey. Jan Crouch and Linda. If Tilly. Angeline and Jan Crouch scissored and then adopted mm -hmm. a young Aryan girl, it'd be me. Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents. Are we good? Yep. It's like having the Salzburg without licking the plate.